Hi there. What I've got is the Miller Performark robotic welding system with a manually shuttle table. And what I'm going to show you real quick is how to call up a program that's already been made. So you're going to grab your touch pen in here and uh, you can see there's a red thing there right there on the screen and uh, you can window change between the two it joggles all around. You want it up there on the files and we also want the key to be in teach mode. So as we turn to teach mode the screen will change just a little bit, a couple icons will change but we're going to go file and let's go to open program files and the only thing that runs the machine is weld A1 and weld B1 so we're going to call up weld A1 say OK then we're going to go down using the, using the thumb wheel we're going to scroll down to call A where it says call A12547 that's what I've got highlighted right now and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on the thumb wheel. I'm going to go down to Command Edit, select that, and then I'm going to say OK. Now when I've got my file highlighted, I'm going to use the thumb wheel to scroll over to Browse, select that, and now I can select a series of programs that I want to run. Now typically you've got two options here. I can call up the program for the table I want to do, or I can call up, if, for example, if that is not going to weld anything on that table, then you're going to want to run the Go Home program. So, that, so those are your options there. So you've got, you can call up a program and it's going to say A for table A, or for example that one there is B for table B, and we'll go through that. So what I would do if I wanted to, uh, you know, I can cancel out of here if I made a mistake, but so you can go browse again, and then I would go to let me see which one I have. So if I want to load the one that's already on there, I'm going to go browse, select this one with the thumb wheel, and it's down here, OK just lit up, so I'm going to select it one more time, and that's good. Now I'm going to go down to OK, and then it says that. Now if I didn't want to run this program, and I wanted weld A1, which is going to be table A, if I wanted that, to just not do anything and I only wanted to run like the B side of the table, then I would have changed that line item by clicking command edit, okay, and I would have went to browse and I would have picked go home is the command I would have done. Now to back up I'm just hitting cancel. Now I'm going to window change. Now it's highlighted red up here. And I'm going to go ahead and close this save the data I'm gonna say no but but you normally would save the data okay and then I'm gonna to go to run the program now I've got to make sure everything's closed out of here so when I click on the wheel and go up here there should be nothing to close this little close button here is dulled out because there's nothing there so I'm gonna exit that now I'm gonna go over to uh, back to auto mode Once you're into auto mode, you can just hang the pendant back up on the machine. Now this here is a no-no. You don't want to be hanging anything on the emergency stop switch. Hang that up there where it belongs. Once I've got my console in auto mode, I can come over here and I've got auto, auto, and now the machine's ready to go. Now there are some, a couple knobs here. Let me show you in detail. Now the knobs here you've got I've got auto mode that I turned on, my servos are on, they're lit up. Now I've got a couple options here. I can go to auto, which is going to run the two programs, weld A1 and weld B1. I've got sweep, which is just going to shuttle between the two tables. And I've got home, which when I click this, it's going to flash there. And what that did, if the robot wasn't quite at home position, it's not going to allow you to rotate the tables. So if that comes up, you can just hit that. It's going to make sure the robot's at home. Then you can go back to sweep the tables back and forth or auto mode. Like I was saying, in auto mode. Now sweep mode, if we hit this, now our, our air is off outside, but we hit this, it would unlock the table. 
you can rotate the table back and forth between the uh, two tables. A uh, reason you would use this is if uh, I called up and I wanted to start on table B first and A was in the machine or vice versa, you can rotate the table, then go to auto mode to get it where you want to run.